Hey guys, my name is Richard Price. I'm with a company called High Tech Battery, and today we're gonna be talking about winterizing your batteries. Why winterize your batteries? It's important to protect the investment of the battery. If you really wanna get the longevity and the lifespan out of the battery, then you need to take care of it in the off season. Okay, so batteries these days are not cheap, especially for the high performance one. If you're going with lithium or even a high performance AGM, you're talking several hundred dollars. So don't waste your money, make sure you're protecting your investment by winterizing the battery properly okay so the whole goal of winterizing a battery is to protect it from getting sulfated sulfation occurs when a battery falls into a discharge state for a period of time we're going to prevent the battery from ever touching a discharge state by following these steps okay we're going to look at two different scenarios scenario a that's where we're gonna have access to the grid wherever we're storing our application or the battery. And then option B, we don't have access to the grid where we're storing our application or battery. Okay, so let's go with option A or, or scenario A first. You have access to the grid. The first step is we're gonna make sure the battery is fully charged prior to winterizing the application. Let's say it's a boat, right? If you're winterizing a boat, you're gonna be putting a cover on top of the boat or even a car, you're gonna be putting a cover on top of the car so dust can't get in, animals can't get in, rodents, things like that. So before we do that, we're gonna make sure the battery's fully charged, okay? We need to get access to the battery first. Then we're gonna go ahead and hook up a battery maintainer to it, okay? What is a battery maintainer? A battery maintainer is a small output charger. It puts out between 500 milliamps to 1.5 amps, and they're smart chargers. They shut themselves on and off as needed. It prevents overcharging of the battery and keeps it topped off, ready to go. So that way when spring hits, turn the key, engine fires every single time. All right, so we're gonna make sure the battery is fully charged, step one. Step two, connect our battery maintainer. And then step three, winterize the application. Put your covers on, you know, button it up. Make sure you can't get the rodents in there. It's out of the elements, everything that you would normally do to winterize an application. You wanna protect it from the elements and protect it from any type of roads that could get to it because it's gonna be in storage for three to six months. So, scenario B, you don't have access to the grid where you're at. In cases like this, you're gonna have two options. You can either go the solar route or you can go the manual route, all right? So, same process or same start we had in scenario A, we wanna make sure the batteries are fully charged prior to storing them. Moving forward, let's take a look at our solar route first. There's a company called Deltran that has a five watt solar panel with a 10 foot lead. It works in not only direct sunlight, but also in indirect sunlight. So in other words, cloudy days, rainy days, snowy days, you'll still be able to get that charge work uh, right into the battery itself. It's a five watt solar panel. They do make larger ones, but it's to give you an idea of a route you could go. It could be mounted on a shed roof. It could be leaned against the shed, somewhere where you have access to obviously put the panel that can get the sun. So you're gonna, that's your stipulation there, is gonna be distance between the solar panel and the application, probably no more than 10 feet, just because of the minute power that we're drawing in, and access to the sun. If you can't make that happen, let's say it's in deep storage or you You've read yourself a storage place where you're, you're storing your muscle car and there's just no grid and you're not allowed to put anything on the roof. In cases like these, I recommend you pull the battery, okay? Reason being is that you can still manually charge the battery once every three months. Batteries, all chemistries of batteries, naturally self-discharge. That's just part of the deal. You can't store power into a container indefinitely. It will eventually cease to exist, right? That power, that energy will leach out of the battery over time. It's gonna lose its charge. That process for majority of the batteries out on the market is 90 days. Lithium can hold longer. That's to be expected. Lithium can hold about six months. But a good rule of thumb is every 90 days. So you can either pull the battery out of that application and keep it in your garage to charge once every 90 days, or you can go to the site where the battery is stored and charge them once every 90 days using a regular charger. We live in a digital age. Set yourself a reminder, whether it's a calendar reminder on your phone that just sends you a text or an email saying, hey, it's time to charge your batteries. But doing so can save you a lot of money. 
Chances are if you're storing this application in a place that doesn't have power, it's a large application. It's gonna be a boat with three batteries. That's about a grand right there. Or it's gonna be your muscle car with a high performance AGM battery. It's about 300 bucks. So it's worth setting yourself a reminder. It's worth taking that couple hour, hours out of your day on a Sunday to go there, either pull the battery or charge the battery, one of the two. Just make sure you get that maintenance on a regular routine for yourself and you could really end up getting the maximum lifespan out of those batteries five, seven years, if not more for some of your lithium applications. All right, so that wraps up our winterization video, guys. It's very simple. The whole goal is to make sure the batteries don't fall into a discharge state. We wanna prevent the sulfation from even having a chance of occurring. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to us. Uh, again, Richard at High Tech Battery. We can be reached toll free at 1-877-775-4381 or shoot us an email. I have a great crew. We can be reached at orders at techbatterysolutions.com. We can hear out any questions you have in regards to winterizing your application, whether it be types of chargers for recommendation, um, how to properly winterize an application, charge times, whatever it may be, we can get an answer for you. So if you like this video, if it speaks to you, please hit the thumbs up and share the video. I appreciate your time today, guys. Have a good day.